Welcome to new Savages app podcast and this time around it's all about the application called Photokopierer which is basically the German word for copying machine. So this application just like the name suggests is a scanning application basically. So it acts like a scanner so you can take photos of text, of drawings, of other stuff and it will auto try to auto optimize this as your scanner would do on your computer. So if you don't have a scanner, but you have important document to scan in, you can try the photocopier app on your smartphone. You can get this application from openrebos.net or the Storman store. And if you open it up for the first time, it will uh, greet you with the list of all documents scanned in this time and no document in there. So what you can do is just click on the plus sign and it will open up the camera and hopefully will allow to scan in text just like here for example the election day text that i got from my city i can click the shutter button it will take a shot and now i have the option to choose which of this is really text so i have this uh, buttons here you can see if i grab this button i can see a magnification glass to see where exactly i want to place this so I'm gonna place it at the edges of at the edges of the paper. And as you can see here this works pretty good with this magnification stuff. So for this I think I managed pretty good in handling this. Maybe my thumb is there in the way a bit. So maybe put a bit here. And this as well, a bit here, so my thumb will not be completely in there. But uh, if I go to the next step, you can see what it auto-optimized. And what I can do now is, if this auto-optimization is not enough, I can still see a bit of my thumb. I can choose different colors, for example, gray, if I like to have gray color, if I have colorful. Magic is the automa automation stuff, but if I don't like the automation, I can click on control and I have the option to enhance contrast and uh, change the brightness maybe and other stuff as well. So let me say this looks okay. I click on next and it will auto generate now the document and it will take a few seconds for this but then i will get a sheet of paper hopefully it worked last time i tried it out which allows me to and click on it maybe it's still generating which allows me to see the saved document and the interesting part is that it will save not only the document that i created but you can see the edit button if i click on the edit button now it will allow me to see the original photo I took and I can enhance it even further. So if I did a mistake, just like for example, oh, the thumb is in there, I don't want the thumb in there, I can uh, go to edit and it will go back to, usually you see the, the edit process in here. Uh, it's still an early version, so this might be the reason why it's not working this well here, but it allows you to of course give uh, this document you can see the name of the document is the address the the, the date basically uh, that we have today and i can say okay i want to give it another name so i can give it another name just like for example test document test document and now it's called test document and this is a side this is basically page one and i can of course at new pages so if i have um, multiple multiple pages uh, that i want to scan in i can do this as well so let's go back to the let's try this again maybe try this way try to scan in the text this way still my thumb in there but can be a bit tricky and it's not the best, as you can see here. I'm a bit lazy in optimizing it. Say so next, and I think it's still readable. And I think I go right 
next and it should then create the ah in this case it worked it created the thumbnail and as you can see here or it created the document the page one as you can see here i can now zoom in and i can really see all the text clearly here better than what i really took uh, an image of and the good thing is that i can export all the pages i scanned not only this one page but if i have multiple pages i can export all the pages i have as a pdf document so if i click on pdf export it will automatically generate a pdf file out of it and open it up in the normal selfish as documents application and i can see the pdf here and then i have the option to share it uh, or yeah share this document with other people which is a nice uh, addition to this so as you can see here these here's the document saved as a pdf file so this is uh, this application it's still an early version you can see this when i go first of all you can see it because it did not work the first time but if i go about photocopierer you can see it's version 0 uh, to 1 and yeah it's a very nice application if you'd like to support it you can find the home page here and uh, of course also the application uh, frameworks uh, that are used in here and of course if you want to support it you can give it a thumbs up in Stormen, um, add some nice comments if you have problems with it or some suggestions and uh, this is everything for this little demonstration hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching until the next time bye